Our next speaker is Rajesh Shah. Um, he is one of Crest's longtime collaborators, and he has a background in engineering, um, but has, I won't say recently, I guess the past 10 years or so, been working in the field of educational technology. Um, and he is the CEO of Sim Insights and um, one of the brains behind our game that we'll be talking about tomorrow, our games that we're talking about tomorrow, Go Vector Go and Team Vector. So here is Rajesh. Thank you so much. So my talk is about the need for easier authoring tools. So we know that high quality formative assessments requires lots of content that is mapped in a fine-grained way to content and cognition. And the question is, how are we going to get all that high-quality interactive content? We know that the current ways of producing this content uh, are extremely expensive. So we have to bring down the cost while keeping the quality still high. Turns out that a similar problem has been faced in another industry, which is engineering, where uh, lots of tools have been developed to uh, accelerate the creation of uh, computer models, which are then used to accelerate the design innovation. So my background is in that industry for, where for about 10 years, I helped build these tools that are used to build models of things like cars, planes, and so on. And I think that a lot can be learned from that industry to build a set of tools that can help the authoring problem. So I've tried to capture my thoughts in just one slide, so in the form of a very simple linear equation. So there's the future, which is uh, equal to what we have right now, minus or plus some things. Um, so the first thing that I imagine is missing from the future is coding. I think that coding is fine for software development, but uh, not for content authoring. I think that requiring people to write code to author content creates a very high barrier that, that keeps a lot of good ideas and a lot of good people out. So if we work to eliminate this barrier, I think that content uh, creation can be accelerated by orders of magnitude, and that'll be a very nice uh, development. The second variable that, that I hope will be present is a lot more people, ideally everyone. So here I'm thinking about crowdsourcing, collaboration, sharing models. So hopefully in the next five years or so, we'll develop uh, nice sharing models that create the right kinds of incentives for everybody in education to participate by creating, curating, critiquing, analyzing, discussing, even buying or selling. And technology will help by creating app store-like platforms to enable that. The third variable that, that uh, I hope will be present is computers and software. So here I'm thinking about problem generation. So people are great at thinking up a new task that evokes certain kinds of cognitive processing uh, and challenges students to demonstrate evidence of certain proficiencies. But when it comes time to take that task, use it as a template, and then expand the coverage to a much broader domain in that area, it sometimes feels a little tedious. And that's where some of the algorithms that are being developed right now can come in and take that as a template and then amplify it. Um, to increase the coverage. Uh, the next variable that I hope will be present is a nice library of built-in measurement models and scoring models, especially in the early stage of a task creation. We want the author uh, to be really thinking more about cognitive processing and things like that uh, without worrying too much about the statistical models, the math and the data science and the machine learning. So if there is a nice library of uh, measurement models and scoring models that the author can quickly select from and attach it to their task, roll out the task to the initial set of uh, testers, and then get feedback to iterate, that will be very helpful. And here I'm thinking of more than just multimedia. So what's happening these days is with, with sensing, Internet of Things, performance can be measured directly. So, so self-validated, self-report-based measures are great. But uh, now we can also directly uh, measure performance and then do scoring based on that. And then the last development, last but not least, in future would be 
a nice collection of proficiency models. So every field has proficiency models, but it, it exists in, in papers and so on. It doesn't exist in a nice reusable form, which is amenable to implementation in the computer. So I'm imagining something like a Wikipedia, which, which collects proficiency models for every field uh, that we can, that a task author can pull from, attach it to the task, and then uh, uh, contribute to it. So if you try to imagine a future in about five years or seven years where these things exist, uh, task creation sounds like a lot of fun, and, and it can go into a nice uh, professional development program where teachers are learning by creating. Thank you.